Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and I'm going to start a new series because it's time for recertification. It is now here. It's coming out a little bit later than it normally does. Normally it comes out around April 1st, but this time it came out in the latter part of April. And a lot of times they will offer incentives for you to finish it up before the end of May. And I haven't seen anything on that. There may be some emails that you may have gotten or whatever. But if you go to your ProAdvisor portal, and I am logged into a sample ProAdvisor realm. So you just basically can go to the ProAdvisor and then go to the training. And that'll take you to the training home like I was already in. If you haven't taken the test or anything yet, you'll see a little area right here that takes you right into the training library. But if you don't see this, then you can just go ahead and click on the training library. And what that will do is it'll show you the training that's available for the testing as well as for the other stuff that you need. Now, if you're just doing the recertification, which you have to do every year once you've been certified, then all you have to do is to do the What's New in QuickBooks online recertification as you see here. Now I'm gonna take each successive week to go over a little bit more detail what you need to know. I'm not gonna give any answers to any of the questions, but what I wanna do today is basically show you how to access the test here. So basically, when you go into the Pro Advisor, like I said, you go into the Pro Advisor and the Training tab, then you click on the training library and that'll take you to this area right here. So you're gonna click on this little card here. And what this will do is it will show you basically if, if you have to recertify either on the basic level, you're just gonna see where it talks about the intermediate skills here. You can click on this drop down, and that will show you all the different topics that you'll be tested on for that. And I've already taken the test, I'm advanced certified. I will tell you that this test has 16 questions. And one of the things I wanna talk about in successive videos is how to kind of understand the concept of if you only need 80% to pass, you only have to pass so many questions in order to pass that section. So anyway, that's the basic level and then if you're taking the advanced skills as well to keep your advanced certification, then these are the topics. And I will say right now that most of these topics, most all these topics are geared towards the QuickBooks Online Advanced Training and Certification. More about that as we go in each successive week to talk about some of these and do a little bit of deep dive on. But anyway, that's basically all I have for you today, except for I will mention that if you are taking the basic test, you will just see this. If you're taking the advanced test, you'll need to complete both of these sections. You'll need to complete them before you get scored on them. If you pass the intermediate skills part, but don't pass the advanced skills part, you still keep your basic certification. I will tell you that. So at any rate, we'll talk about next week some of the things that you need to know in order to pass the intermediate skills, some of the things that are in there, some caveats. And then the week after that, I'll probably talk a little bit more about the advanced skills. Like I said, I cannot talk about any specific questions or anything, but we can talk about some of the areas and some of the things that you need to know. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. Y'all take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you real soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.